Good evening everybody, it's Sarah Smith here and I just thought I'd do a quick little video um, with my thoughts about the election. It's been 48 hours since the results came in roughly and yeah um, I just thought I would do a video because obviously there's a lot of really um, and understandably so depressed people, um, people who are feeling really flat People who are feeling disheartened, just deflated, despondent, um, disappointed. Lots of D words, funnily enough. Um, yeah, so I thought I would share my thoughts and um, who knows, they may or may not help you or they um, may help somebody you know. Yeah, I don't know. So my thoughts are um, Labour winning a landslide victory. Is not a surprise. Um, they did the best that they've done in 50 odd years. Um, Jacinda is their most popular leader ever, I think, pretty much. And yeah, so 49.1% and national on 26.8 um, act on 8%. Was so it the Greens on? seven point something um, and New Zealand first out not reaching that five percent threshold um, the new conservatives was at 1.9 something like that and NZPP on 0.9 from memory um, yeah so I suppose, uh, yeah, Labour, you know, they're pretty much going to be able to govern alone and apparently that, you know, they might bring the Greens on board, but yeah, we'll see. I mean, yeah, if you look at it purely from a political point of view and purely from um, a COVID response point of view, it's, yeah, it's not looking very good. Um, if you know, well, obviously, if you if you don't agree with the whole COVID health response bill and and the reduction of our civil liberties in the name of a virus that's no more lethal than a bad flu, so yeah, it's pretty disappointing on that level. But what I want to say is that um, there's lots of different levels that we're working on in this reality, on this dimension, on this plane, on this earth, however you want to look at it. And I really urge people to go to the next level um, of understanding and the next level of perception. Because as is often talked about in um, spiritual teachings or esoteric teachings or the Bible or, you know, it's we're all on a journey up the mountain, aren't we? We're all on a journey of deeper understanding and the more we go up the mountain, the better our view is and the more we can see back down from where we've come and it's often not it's it's not very easy to see what's ahead of us and we get we get easily scared and we get easily um, we get easily kind of frozen or um, shocked or um, put into a state of um, apathy or depression or yeah because we don't know what's ahead and if you do look at it from a political point of view yes it looks very worrying and knowing what's behind the Labour Party and what's behind the Green Party yes it's very worrying but I urge you to think about um, the spiritual as well and also, if you don't have a spiritual faith or a spiritual practice, then even just on a basic frequency level in terms of we're all vibration, this whole reality that we inhabit is vibration. And you know what you feel like when you come out into nature and you see these amazing trees. And you see the green 
and you hear the birds at dusk or at dawn and I urge you to go and connect with those things that calm your vibration and calm your mood and ground you to the earth and remind you of the beauty that is on this planet the everyday beauty because it's so easy for all of us to get caught up in the mainstream media or the social media or just being online in general and obviously even just being on the on the computer and the phone that's all emitting an energetic frequency and as most of you will be very well aware of that frequency the electromagnetic frequency that it emits and of course um, you know 4G 5G coming in that's not good for the human electromagnetic circuitry boards that we are so my urge is for every one of us to remember who we really are number one that we are infinite endless beings with no beginning and no end and we're having a human experience on this planet and we happen to live in New Zealand or you might be listening to this from overseas wherever you are you happen to have landed here on this planet and you've grown up in a system that probably makes no sense at all and you've probably known that for your whole life and now as an adult even as a young adult or a child even for many of us we started trying to figure out what on earth is going on so despite how you're feeling about the election get out into nature sit under the trees listen to the birds go and take your friend's dog for a walk just anything that reconnects you with what is real and I'm a great believer that the creator didn't make any mistakes in terms of when I hear the birds I just they just relax me and um, I truly believe that that wasn't an accident and the green grass and the green trees and the, the lushness of life how rejuvenating it is for our senses so this is what we're in we're in a um, perception deception and however you perceive things to be then obviously that will become your reality and you'll create something based along those lines and we're all creators we're all creator beings we're all manifesting whether we're conscious of it or not and the whole point is to become conscious of what you're manifesting so be aware of your sadness, be aware of your depression, be aware of just your disheartened, despondent disappointment and observe it and be okay with it and don't beat yourself up about it and then go and find something that changes your vibration, that fills you up with goodness, fills you up with that love connection again from source from the Creator, from God, from Christ. It's all about the light. What light are we using to fill our cells? Are we using God's light? The light of, the light of Christ? Or are we using the light of Lucifer? light and there's many ways that we can fill our, our, our light beings up like I say nature's one think about the things that you did as a child 
Maybe it was making things with your hands. Maybe it was going to the beach. Water. Water is very powerful for many of us. Very cleansing, very healing. Was it cooking? Cooking can be a wonderful way of reconnecting. Cooking a meal consciously, bringing in that love for your friends and family. So that's my little piece that I wanted to bring to today because I've seen a lot of heartache online and in real life as we steer down another three years of lefty, liberal, Marxist, communist ideologies. And I also want to say but don't forget the 3rd of November because that's when our mate Trumpy, hopefully, all things going well, will be re elected in a landslide. And at this, at this point, that's what I'm banking on. I'm not feeling um, not feeling particularly depressed or anything about Jacinda getting back in. I mean, I haven't voted for over 10 years, so my head's been out of the political kind of sphere and game for a long time. But I thought this year I'd get involved and do my little bit for freedom and liberty, and for saving this country. So I can say that I gave it my best. And I can also say that the fight won't stop, it'll continue. And it is time for all of us to unite under freedom and liberty and truth, regardless of political parties, regardless of colour, race, creed, all of that. All those things that I want to divide us on. And remember, united we stand and divided we fall. And that is what they're banking on. That we never manage to sort ourselves out. And that we're just always fighting and bickering. And look, maybe, maybe we will never stand as one big united unit. But the point is, actually, we only ever need one single mind and one single heart to be free from the matrix. Because... If all of us freed ourselves from the matrix and we didn't comply with their BS, what control have they got? And that's the whole point. They can't control our minds at this point. I know they want to with the whole transhumanist agenda that the World Economic Forum is doing its best to bring in. What's Klaus? Schaub and his cronies so just find what you enjoy at this point I think is probably the best thing and just keep working on gently trying to awaken one heart one mind at a time and let's all look out for one another and check in because sometimes it's literally just a text or quick phone call just to say hi and that I see you and I understand you and I care about you and that's what we need to bring back in that's the principle of care the divine femininity not related to women specifically women are not going to be the saviors of the human race we all have to be working together men and women acknowledging our different strengths and her individual gifts and talents so that's my message folks hang in there I really truly believe the best is yet to come and um, the storm is upon us and I really looking I'm really looking forward to 
the um, American elections now and I truly believe that we are going from a process of dark to light and God always wins and God is good so with that post your thoughts down below let me know how you're doing and just know that we're all in this together one big family here to be who we really are and you are all amazing blessings to this world and it's time it's just time it's time to end the madness and it's time for evil to go back to the dark corner of the universe where it came from with that blessings and talk to you all later bye